Hi, this is Leslie. Welcome to this Reserve Cloud Reports Essentials video. This video will cover how to run, edit, and create new reports. Let's begin by clicking on the Reports module from the navigation bar. Upon entry into the Reports module, you may first notice a list of reports that can simply be copied, edited, ran, or exported. We'll do that in a moment. But first, let's talk about the organizational structure up above with the folders. Reports can be grouped into folders so that they can be easily found or utilized by different groups of users. If you expand the very top folder, the Reserve System Report folder, you will notice a Defaults Report area. These are reports that come standard with Reserve Cloud. These default reports can be run as is, edited and saved into another folder, all things again that we'll look at shortly. You'll also have your All Organization folder. This folder contains all of the reports that your user profile has visibility of. These reports possibly have been saved or customized and saved by your organization. This may be the only folder needed by your organization. If you are a multiple site organization, need to cut here. Your all organizational folder need to keep cutting, cutting. Your all organization folder contains all of the reports that your user profile has visibility of, reports that have been saved or customized and saved by your organization. This may be the only folder needed by your organization. However, if you are a multiple site organization, you may notice that you have or could create folders at the various filing cabinet levels. We call this the tree. Which cut there too. Your all organization folder contains all of the reports that your user pros Your All Organization folder contains all of the reports that your user profile has visibility of. These reports may have been saved or customized and saved by your organization. This may be the only folder needed by your organization. However, if you are a multiple site organization, for example, you may notice that you have or could create folders in the various filing cabinets as you go down the tree. There are filing cabinets at the organizational level, the division, the region, the property, all the way down to the site level. To create a new folder for particular types of reports or at a certain organization hierarchy, simply click on the New Folder button to the right, enter a folder name, and select the actual level that you would like this folder to exist at. Then you can save reports to that folder for future reference. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to run a report from our list. So as I look at my list, I have a report called an event calendar. To run a report, we simply click on the run link to the left of the report name. The report itself will run on our screen and we can see it displayed here. Up at the top, typically we can change the report date range if we need to. If you want to download the report to print it, up here we have a download printable view. When I click it, it will actually download a printable view here as a PDF, and again, I can print from here or download it if I choose to do that. Also, I can export reports. So after I have run a report, possibly I want to export it. My export choices are up at the top. I have CSV. Excel file as well as PDF. If I select to export a document, I have the option to email those results to myself as well. But when I export, those results and my file will actually go to my home page. This message lets you know where that will be located. I can jump back to the home page with the link here or simply go back to my home page and at the very bottom, you'll see your background activities and your download results will be there so that you have your file. So very, very simple to run a report. 
to download a printable view of that report as well as to export it. Let's take a look now at how to edit a report. What I'll do is run a report to show you first and then we'll do a few edits to it. So I'm going to look at this revenue summary report. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And maybe the report itself eh, looks okay, but possibly I want to group it uh, maybe by month and then sort by the event start date and maybe I want to add a column for attendance. So I'm going to go ahead up at the top and just click on the edit link. This edit button opens up another screen here and as I go down my page you'll notice I have sections. First I have my report options. You know for what date range would I typically run the report? You always get the opportunity to change that date range when you run the report. I also have high detail rows, which is kind of a neat feature that would allow me to summarize the events. If I have multiple functions underneath, for example, possibly I don't need to see that detail. I just want to see it at the event level. As I scroll down to the columns area, on the left I have available columns, on the right I have selected columns. Going down a little bit further here, I have my groupings. Groupings are going to be where I could subtotal or group various topics together. I also have my sorts. How do I want it organized? Calculations. Do I want to make any uh, averages, sums, anything like that? And then at the bottom, I have filters. So we're going to be talking about all those as we go through here. I'm going to start up at the top at the date range area. I'm running this for the current year, and, and that's just fine. Again, I could change that default date range if I'd like to. Down here in the report columns, I do want to add a column. So first I want to find out what section my column might exist in, and then I'm going to drag the column to the right. So I just want attendance. I'm just going to go for function attendance here, grab that column and drag it over. I'm just going to drop it there. These columns over here can be rearranged simply by click, hold, and drag. And I can also delete columns as needed. As we go down toward the next section here, I want to do a grouping. I mentioned maybe grouping by, oh, by month, so I can get a subtotal there possibly. So I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to go to event start date month, scrolling way down here, and I'll add that particular grouping. For my sort, I decided I wanted to sort by event start date, so I'm just going to scroll down here again to event, and I'll get event start date. And I'll add that as my sort. Calculations, again, anything that's numeric can be calculated. I'm going to go ahead and say attendance, and let's find out the average attendance. We'll go ahead and add that as a calculation that we'd like to see. And at the very bottom, we have filters. Again, filters are going to be what we want to see or not see on our report. By default, we see all the information based on our hierarchy security. In my preview, I'm going to pretend that I saw a bunch of events that had the event type of wedding, and I simply do not want to see those on this report, so I'm going to filter those off. I already have an existing filter for the site, but I'm going to add a new filter, and this one's going to be for event type, and I'm just going to say basically event type not equal to wedding. So I'm going to go down here and grab my event type. Hang with me while I scroll. I'll find my event type here and I will do not equal to, and of all my particular event types, I'm going to say not equal to wedding. So very, very easy to tweak these reports and edit them to get what you want. Once you're done, you could save as to create a copy of that report and maybe rename it something different, or you could save it if you wanted to go ahead and edit uh, what you had previously done. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it as it is. I like it this way, and let's do a quick preview of this report now and we should see some differences. So as we go down here, you'll notice that it is sorting by event start date. It's also grouping by month. I've added my attendance column and I've got my average and I don't have any wedding event types on here. So again, real, real simple to edit my report and I could continue to edit that further as needed. I'm gonna go ahead and click done there. And I have one more thing that I wanted to show you in this video and that's how to create a brand new report. Very, very similar to editing a report. It's just that in this, we want to start with a new report and we have to choose an event type or a report type. 
So I'm going to choose the report type of event. I'll just build a, a simple event list report, but notice there are many report types that I can choose from with descriptions next to them to just assist me in which kind of a report type I might want to start with. That leads to which columns would be present for me. So I'm just going to grab this event report. I'll click the create report button. I'll go ahead and give the report a name. I'll just call this event list. I'll need to put that in a particular folder. I'll just put it in the all organization folder. And then I'll also need to make sure there's an owner. I'm just going to let it default to myself. Down here, I can decide what date range maybe I want. Maybe I want the date to be, uh, let's go with just start date and we'll do the current month, that's just fine. Then I wanna go down and select my columns. And again, just under the various sections, I'm dragging and dropping the columns that I want. So under event, I'm gonna drag over event name, dragging it and dropping it. I'm gonna grab over event status, and then I'll go down and grab start date. That's always a good date. And then I'm gonna go down here and under financial, I'll grab, let's say I'll grab event total. Well, let me grab event total and I'll drag that over. And let's go through here and make sure I've got all my columns. Again, I could drag and drop those in a different order if I wanted, maybe I want start date first. And then as I go into my other areas, as I showed you before, I can group the report. Maybe I want to group the report by event status. I want all of my news together with all of my tentatives, etc. So I'll just go grab event status and we'll make that our grouping. I could sort it. Maybe I just want to sort it by start date. That's pretty simple. I'm going to scroll up and grab start date and add that as a sort. That'll again be the organization. Calculus calculations, maybe I want here to get a, a sum of the event total. So down here in the financial where I grab the event total column, I'll grab the event total column again and just get a sum of that and add that. And then lastly are filters. Again, do I want to filter anything off of this report? Do I want to not show something or particularly show something? So I'll add a filter here. Maybe I only want to see my own events. So I'm going to go down and I'll do salesperson and I'll do salesperson first name and we'll do that equal to Leslie and see if I can just get my own events. I'm going to go ahead and preview this report. See if I've got what I like. This looks great. So I've got my report information. It's all organized by status. Uh, I've got my totals going, etc. So the report looks okay. I'm good to go there and I might want to save that and again I could put it in a particular folder if I needed to. But real simple again to edit reports, to run them, to create brand new reports as well. You've got your links that you'll be able to utilize next to the reports and you've always got chat if you have a question. Thanks so much for watching.